Tonight's top story, Jennifer Lawrence has been eating a sandwich. I mean, like, what, does she think she's some, like, normal person or something? I don't know. But we also caught Obama going to the bathroom, and we have a girl murderer or something, but, you know, that's not important. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence eating a sandwich, or, you know, I'm like, and, uh, ISIS or Ebola or something stupid, but also a little girl was murdered violently, and we got the video. This is Jackson Mihoff. This is Cox News. So... That was a pretty graphic video, but um, don't ask how we got that or why we didn't bother trying to stop it, but you know. Um, in other news, Ebola is the greatest threat to human history in existence, second only to Obama, of course. And all that Jennifer Lawrence burger, this is a developing story we have, but we are getting news that this burger also had cheese on it, and you know, you know what that does for a actress's body, but you know, Jennifer Lawrence is already fat enough, I mean, right, you know. So about this Obama video, it appears that Obama actually urinates like a normal person. Yeah, I know it's pretty crazy, but um, we're getting word that uh, it was done in a urinal. Um, another story, a wild narwhal got loose from the zoo, and apparently it got smashed by a semi-truck, so... So, our lead story tonight, this is one that we've been developing for the past few weeks. It appears a certain menace has killed a small girl. Now. We don't know what the girl was wearing exactly, or if there was rape involved, but it's very unlikely seeing how this, all these attacks seem to be related to a man wearing a pumpkin on his head. Now, some reports are calling this man Jack Carver, and it appears that the colors seem to leave the room and be transported with some sort of supernatural colors whenever Jack comes around. He's killed up to 16 people now, so, you know, you can tally that one up with uh, Adam Lanza, if you see what I'm saying. However, we've gotten talks with DG, the leader of a special gang in the streets called Darklight. Now Darklight claims to be the one thing out there that can combat Jack Carver. Let me tell you, this is police matters. You're nothing but a bunch of stupid children running around with guns, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but you know, it's USA, who cares? But, you know what we've got that you don't? We've got the police. Protect. He is being your uh, Serve. <laughs> What was the last one again? So that's tonight's stories. This has been Jackson Mihoff with Cox News. They need to be here by now. Jesus. If I get got by this guy again, I'm gonna be so mad. Absolutely. No. No! Stay back! Stay back, you <laughs> <laughs>
One cold December night, back in 1984, a scientist had found himself upon the dance floor. He started twitching and shaking like a pile of jumping beans, and at first it looked stupid, but the end justified the means. Well, I know it's not generally considered very cool, to dance like a nitwit, to dance like a fool. But now that's just a guideline, not a rule. Making my way through the dance club scene Been trying it out, it's my brand new routine And it's catching on big, it's so hot, it's obscene So get off the wall, stand proud and tall Get out there and dance like an idiot You know it's all good, so rock the neighborhood Get out there and dance like an idiot 